नमस्कार हार्टी वेलकम टू यू ऑल टू टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ सितार लर्निंग एसेंशियल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट थार्ट फॉर द बिगिनर्स इट इज समटाइम्स कॉन्फ्यूजिंग टू नो दो सो मेनी जार्गन्स ऑफ हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक और इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक बीट राग ताल थाट श्रुति देर आर मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजीज विच आर यूज so we will discuss what thart is it is nothing but the categorization or classification of the ragas which we are having based on the notes being used the system of thart is not very very old i think it was conceptualized by the legendary musician and musicologist pandit vishnu narayan bhatkhande ji sometime maybe early uh, i mean i think last century and this is purely based on the notes being used by the ragas logical grouping you can say based on the notes being used so there are 10 thoughts which are i have further categorized i have categorized these thoughts based on the should re and dha because re and dha these are the two notes two frets on sitar which are movable okay in the middle octave so there are four thirds which use shuddha re shuddha dha combination and four thirds which use komal re komal dha combination and one third using shuddha re komal dha combination and one third using komal re shuddha dha combination so total 10 thirds 4 plus 4 plus 2 now if you ask me this thart is not a full proof system for categorization of the ragas because in hindustani music itself there are many ragas which are which cannot be logically categorized in any of these thirds an example basant mukhari i will discuss uh, first we will discuss uh, what thart is and what are the different thart and why it cannot be fit uh, few examples let me as i started telling basant mukhari then chandrakons then madhuvanti uh, this hindustani ragas cannot be fit and there are many karnataka ragas like charukeshi or vachaspati or even uh, kirwani this thart this ragas we can't you know fit any particular thart Uh, hindustani thart system what i heard and what i uh, understood from my friends who practice carnatic music they have more robust and systematic uh, process uh, as part of the 72 melkarta ragas which cover the different scales uh, very scientifically and it it covers most of them all of them all of the ragas so let us come back to the, our hindustani thart system so with shuddha re shuddha dha combination we are having bilawal kalyan khamaj and kafi you see i am following a certain sequence and there is a reason for the sitar players uh, to understand that so let me just move my frets because my i was practicing bhairavi again we will we'll have to move the frets again later when once we discuss about komal re komal dha best thoughts so in bilawal thought all the notes are shuddha notes there is no komal or tivra note so let's start with that sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa all notes are shuddha notes re ga ma da ni and sa and pa you know there is no variant of sa and pa and re and re ga ma da ni all shuddha now next and okay let me tell you each of the thoughts have been named after a, a, a basic and very common rag sampurna rag which is called the ashray rag of that particular thought or the major rag for, for that particular thought thought so for bilawal it is bilawal or alahiya bilawal is the ashray rag for bilawal scale for bilawal thought now next let's move to kalyan thought from bilawal thought if you change the shuddhama to tivrama you will get tiv- uh, kalyan thought that means all the notes shuddha only ma tivra so 
the ma has changed next is khama start but before khama let me tell you the major rag or ashray rag for the kalyan thad is yaman okay uh, next is khama start and the ashray rag for the khama start is khamaj uh, some vidwans call it as jhinjoti uh, also because jhinjoti uses komalni only komalni not both the nis so in khama start all the notes shuddha except ni being komal so and the next start is kafi start where all the notes are shuddha only ga and ni are komal so if i Uh, play bilawal kalyan khamaj kafi one after another sa first bilawal sa shuddha re shuddha ga shuddha ma pa shuddha da shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni shuddha da pa shuddha ma shuddha ga shuddha re sa kalyan ma tivra sa re sa shuddha re shuddha ga tivra ma pa shuddha da shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni shuddha da pa tivra ma shuddha ga shuddha re sa so ma being tivra here in khamaj ni komal sa shuddha re shuddha ga shuddha ma pa shuddha da komal ni sa sa komal ni shuddha da pa shuddha ma shuddha ga shuddha re sa and finally kafi ga and ni being komal ga and ni being komal sa shuddha re komal ga shuddha ma pa shuddha da komal ni sa sa komal ni shuddha da pa shuddha ma komal ga shuddha re sa so these are the four thirds which use shuddha re shuddha da combination next four thirds use komal re komal da combination okay komal re komal da combination the first one is bhairav second one is purvi third one is todi and fourth one is bhairavi why i have chosen the sequence you see i i will change one or two notes and the third will change for an example starting with bhairav re and dha komal remaining notes shuddha sa komal re shuddha ga ma pa komal da shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni komal da pa shuddha ma shuddha ga komal re sa re and dha komal remaining notes shuddha the ashray rag is bhairav next is purvi thad the ashray rag is puriya dhanashri and it's having re and dha komal ma tivra so in bhairav thad if you just replace shuddha ma with tivra ma you will get puriya puriya dhanashri rag or purvi thad scale of the purvi purvi thad sa komal re shuddha ga tivra ma pa komal da shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni komal da pa tibrama shuddha ga komal re sa now purvi rag is different which uses both the madhams in certain way so we are not going to discuss that discussion we will discuss it later in when we will discuss rag purvi but now let us understand the purvi thad it uses the notes of puriya dhanashri without any rules of the rag so consecutive notes sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa shuddha ni shuddha komal da pa tibra ma shuddha ga komal re sa sa komal re shuddha ga tibra ma pa komal da shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni komal da pa tibra ma shuddha ga komal re sa next comes ra, uh, third todi so in purvi scale if you replace shuddha ga with komal ga you will get the scale of todi sa komal re komal ga shuddha ma pa komal ga shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni komal ga pa tibra ma komal ga komal re sa sa komal re komal ga tibra ma pa komal ga shuddha ni sa sa shuddha ni komal ga pa tibra ma komal ga komal re sa the ashray rag of todi thad is miyaki todi or todi but it, the rag it has it has some rules of the rag of inclusion exclusion some arrangement which we have discussed in our last episode so todi rag is having such uh, rules but scale or thad all consecutive notes just like any other thad our next um, thad will be bhairavi the last thad which uses komal re komal the combination is bhairavi 
in that in the Tori scale, if you replace Tibrama with Shuddhama and Shuddhani with Komalni, you will get Bhairavi. Other in other way, you can think that all the nodes are Komal except Ma being Shuddha. So that is the Bhairavi chart. Sa Komal De Komal Ga Shuddhama Pa Komal Da Komalni Sa Sa Komalni Komal Da Pa Shuddhama Komal Ga Komal De Sa Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Da Ni Sa Sa Re Ga. So that's all about Bhairavi scale, and needless to say, the Ashray Rag of Bhairavi chart is Bhairavi itself. Now we have covered eight charts, four with Sudhre Sudhata combinations, which are Bilaval, Kalyan, Khamaj, and Kafi, four with Komalre Komalre combinations, uh, Bhairav, Purvi, Todi, and Bhairavi. Now we will discuss about the thought which uses Sudhare Komalda combination, which is the Asavari thought. The Ashray Rag is Jonpuri. The Ashray Rag is Jonpuri. Sari Komalga Shuddhama Pa Komalda Komalni Sa. So this is the sequence of note. Here the Ga, Dha, and Ni, these three are Komal. Ga, Dha, Ni, these three are Komal, remaining Shuddha. You can think that in Kafi scale or Kafi Tat, if you replace Suddha with Komalda, you will get Asavari Tat. So let me play it again. Sa Suddha Re Komalga Suddha Ma Pa Komalda Komalni Sa Sa Komalni Komalda Pa Suddha Ma Komalga Suddha Re Sa. So Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Da Re Sa. The last Tat is with Komal Re and Suddha Da combination. Komalya Sudha the combination there is one thought which is Marva thought and the Ashray Rag for this one is the Puriya Kalyan. Why not Marva? Because Marva is a shadow of Rag. It has six notes. The Ashray Rag criteria of the Ashray Rag has to be it has to be Sampurna Rag. So Puriya Kalyan is the Sampurna Rag belonging to Marva thought. That's why it is the Ashray Rag of thought Marva. So, what are the notes? Sa so Re. Kuma, Ro, Re Kumal and Ma Tivra. So that is the criteria. Re Kumal and Ma Tivra and remaining all Shuddha. Sa Re Ga Sa Kumal Re Shuddha Ga Tivra Ma Pa Shuddha Da Shuddha Ni Sa Sa Shuddha Ni Shuddha Da Pa Tivra Ma Shuddha Ga Kumal Re Sa Once again. Sa Kumal Re Shuddha Ga Tivra Ma Pa Shuddha Da Shuddha Ni Sa Sa Shuddha Ni Shuddha Da Pa Tivra Ma Shuddha Ga Kumal Re Sa So this is the brief discussion and on all the ten thoughts which we are having in Hindustani system. Now we discussed there are certain thoughts, certain ragas which logically cannot be forcefully can be done any time, but logically based on the nodes being used cannot be categorized in any of these thoughts. For an example, Basan Mukhari, which uses sa sudare sudaga ma pa komalda komalni sa sa komalni komalda pa ma sudaga komalne sa. So first half is like Bhairav and second half is like Bhairavi. So if you ask me, we should have another thought in uh, after the name of Basant Mukhari to categorize. But you know whatever is documented, whatever is written, and uh, everyone, all the greats have already had given consent to this thought system. Uh, you know conceptualized by Bhatkhande Sahab. So let's not deviate from there. But logic, if you ask me, I personally think that Vasant Mukherjee should have another thought. Same goes for Madhuvanti. For for an example, you use Sa Ga Ma Pa Ni Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Ga Re Sa. So none of the thoughts actually justify this sequence of notes. Um, then Chandrakons, if you think Ni Sa Ga Ma. Da ni sa ni da ma ga sa. It it is not subset of any of the thoughts. If I am not wrong, for an example, Malkos is subset of Bhairavi. So Malkos is categorized uh, under Bhairavi umbrella, uh, under Bhairavi thought. Um, again, we have many uh, Karnatak thought rags, right? Vachaspati, uh, which cannot be categorized uh, neither in Khamaj nor in uh, Kalyan. Uh, 
देन चारू के सी किरवानी सिमेंद्र मध्यम देर आर मेनी मेनी साउथ इंडियन रागस आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट साउथ इंडियन रागस कर्नाटक रागस जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट हिंदुस्तानी रागस सो दैट इज ऑल विच आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर फॉर टूडे हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस ऑन द थाट्स मे बी वी विल हैव अ सेपरेट सेशन बट लेट मी टेल यू अ लिटिल ब्रीफ टू हैव थ्रो टू बिल्ड द फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी ऑफ योर माइंड एंड हैंड सिंक्रोनाइजेशन ऑफ योर हैंड एंड मोर कंट्रोल वॉट एवर यू आर थिंकिंग सो दैट यू कैन प्ले यू कैन परफॉर्म और यू कैन प्रैक्टिस ऑन द ऑल्टरनेट नोट सरगम यू कैन प्रैक्टिस फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट यू आर डूइंग ऑन भैरव थाट देन पूर्वी थाट देन क्रोडी थाट देन भैरवी थाट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम जस्ट शोइंग सपाट सारे भैरव पूर्वी थोड़ी भैरवी भैरवी थोड़ी पूर्वी भैरव ट्राई सम पलटाज ऑल्सो फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल भैरव पूर्वी कोड़ी भैरवी again when i'm taking the names i'm taking the names of the thart not the rag because rags these ragas are having certain rules so they will not allow you to play paltas on that flat paltas on that ragas are not flat and structure but scales are for practice or thart sir um so this i have shown you on the shuddha komal re komal the combination so let me show the similar thing on shuddha re shuddha the combination so we will take bilawal kalyan khamaj kafi again kafi khamaj kalyan bilawal or you can change the sequence based on your wish not a problem but whatever you are deciding fixing you have to maintain that so there by that you you gain control whatever you are thinking then the same thing you are playing at the same time more control so bilawal kalyan kamaj kafi kafi kamaj Kalyan, I have shown you faster. So if you want to understand it in slow pace, then on YouTube there is a feature to decrease the speed. You can watch it in point seven five, point five, point two five, or even one point two five, one point five, or double speed. So all those things you can do for. if you want to have more clarity some of the feedback i got if i play slowly then probably it is good for you to understand but what i will suggest you can use the feature of youtube any time again when it is being played faster try to understand what's happening then it will increase your understanding capability when a musician is singing or playing you can't ask the musician okay sir or madam you please slow down i can't understand your tanai you have to understand right so once they are singing or playing from there if you have to understand and grasp what's happening you need to grow the habit to understand what's happening even out of the fast speed so grow that habit also so, practicing music is not just doing understanding having the concepts grounded um and what learning and whatever you are learning and watching others listening to others to have those all the understanding together and apply that when you are practicing that's why it is called sikhiya dikhiya parikhiya or siksha diksha pariksha so that creates the full cycle of being a music student with this note let me conclude our session here and wish you all the best and stay tuned to our uh, episodes i think uh, this will be helpful for you at some point namaskar